Oh, I got to keep um, a couple paintings. My only scene partner was a disembodied hand. As a high schooler, I was nothing like Bianca. I was not popular. Hi, I'm Asmina with Narcity. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Thank Nina. Thank you. Um, so, Hunter, you got to be a part of this fantasy world in the Wednesday series. What's your favorite memory from filming the show? Probably the moment it kind of sunk in in the first episode when Thing comes to my house to deliver a message for Wednesday. I realized it was my doing a scene, my only scene partner was a disembodied hand. I'd obviously never gotten to do anything quite like that. And doing that with Tim Burton, it was all just kind of like a too surreal to handle. That's Thing. Is he like your pet? He's sensitive. Joy, you had this very intense fencing scene with um, Jenna Ortega as Wednesday. What was that like? Was there any training involved? I trained for about a month total before we shot that scene. I'd never done fencing before, but I immediately took to it. And so I loved filming that scene so much. And it was probably one of my favorite scenes to shoot. Definitely top three. Emma, this show has such a great cast. All of you, um, you know, it has Christina Ricci, Catherine Cita-Jones, Jenna Ortega. Uh, Gwendolyn Christie. Was there anything um, about working with any one of these actors that kind of surprised you? They're all so sweet. Like, I, I was blown away by everybody's kindness on set, especially to someone like me who's relatively new to this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, they're all amazing people and I was really, really honored to be able to work with all these iconic actors and actresses. Welcome to Ophelia Hall. <laughs> Not a hugger. Got it. Please excuse Wednesday. She's allergic to color. Oh, wow. What happens to you? I break out into hives and then the flesh peels off my bones. And Percy, so uh, Wednesday is a fantasy, fantasy show with a lot of unique props and costumes. Did you get to keep anything from set? Oh, I got to keep um, a couple paintings because uh, my character paints in the show. So I was like, one of the last days I was just kind of like, sneaking around set, you know, hanging around, waiting until we wrapped. And then I just like, you know, I talked to uh, Al Go and he let me walk into the painting shack and just pick whatever off the wall. So I have that at home. Well, that's awesome. And speaking of painting, do you actually paint in real life? Or yeah, some dude, of those I, pieces of your work? Oh, no, I, I don't paint in real life. I had to, I'm terrible at art. I had to take like, <laughs> I had to take like painting lessons and drawing lessons for like a month and I'm only ever painting for like two seconds in the show, but yeah, it was really fun. Like, I'm glad I got to do it, you know? Joy, I know Nevermore Academy is, you know, unlike any regular high school experience, but is there anything that you got, you drew from your own personal high school experience that you could kind of bring to your role? What's funny is that as a high schooler, I was nothing like Bianca. I was not popular. I was not like any of that. We were both like teacher's pets, so that's where the through line is. But honestly, I think everything that I saw in like these people that are like the cool ones, I think I tried to reflect that in Bianca, but also put a lot of sensitivity into it as, you know, to kind of connect it to myself. Um, so yeah, I, I'd say like a lot of the emotional parts were, were really familiar from high school. Wednesday. Perhaps you can identify the ghost orchid's greatest qualities. Resilience and adaptability. It's able to thrive in even the most hostile environments. But its mere presence can change the ecosystem, causing the established plants to reject it. Usually because the native species is allowed to thrive unchecked. Nothing a weed whacker can fix. You can most certainly try. Are we still talking about flowers? <laughs> and Hunter, um, you know, what was it like working so closely with Jenna Ortega? You have so many one-on-one -on -one scenes with her. I'm like in awe of Jenna. She's so good in this show. I just felt really lucky that most of my scenes were with her. Um, although I was jealous, I didn't get to do a lot of the school scenes with everybody. They all had, you know, fencing and painting and rowing and my character is just a barista. <laughs> but working with Jenna was amazing. Awesome, well thank you so much. You guys were all so amazing in the show and I'm so excited to see how the series sort of progresses. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more content just like this.